join us as we take a road trip to Oregon. After our quick visit to the state capitol, we were on our way to Medford, Oregon, a 320-mile drive. Located in the heart of Sacramento Valley, the Sacramento Valley Museum is about an hour north of the state capitol. Housed in a 100-year-old building that served as a former high school, the Sacramento Valley Museum is home to over 16,000 square feet of exhibition space. It contains history from the Sacramento Valley from the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century. We are here at the Sacramento Valley Museum. It feels like it's 105 degrees. Guess what? It's closed. Oh, look at it. There's an interesting bird up there. So here is the high school. This is actually supposed to be a museum. High school 1911. High school 1911. And inside has a Masonic uh, thing. So this looks like it could have could be like a Masonic thing. It has the Freemason symbol inside. And it's very hot here, and there's a ton of birds up there. See all those white birds? There's a ton of them. This place has probably been closed since the lockdown. And since that time, I think it's uh, kind of gotten shabby. You know, at least the grass out here is being watered because it's, it's fairly green considering how hot and dry it is out here. And there's a ton of these birds. They look like little crane birds. All the way, living in all these trees are birds. I don't know if you can hear them. Okay. Well, that's our very, very short stop at the Sacramento Valley Museum. Not open. It looks like it hasn't been open in a whole year. And it's kind of falling apart. But uh, I'm going to go find a restroom before we head out. Next on our list is Willows, California, that derived its name from a bunch of luxuriant willow trees. We decided to give our car a little break as we finished up some dinner. We are at Willows, California, which is one hour north of Sacramento. Oh yeah, and I still have a lot of this fried rice left. Haven't even made a dent. We'll see if I can finish this off today. Or maybe for breakfast tomorrow. So we're gonna walk off our dinner a little bit. By exploring Sycamore Park. Very nice park, pretty peaceful. Pretty peaceful. Huh? Sycamore. Sycamore. We're at Sycamore Park. And so we're gonna go on some of the the rides here, the playground. We'll use up the playground here and I'll do my favorite, which is the swing. Yogi Bear Seesaw time. Let's do this. Ah. <laughs> Got some pretty, pretty nifty exercise equipment here at Sycamore, Sycamore Park. Some push up equipment. Looks pretty new, maybe a few years old. Try to improve the health of the residents that live here at Willows, California. Hello. It's great after being in the car for hours to just get out and get moving, you know? Because it's not healthy to just sit. It's not healthy to just sit for long periods of time. And some people live right next to the park. 
right there. Very convenient location for them. All right, Dylan, do pull-ups. Do uh, as many as you can. Oh, you can't, right? Oh, forget it. So we just slept our first night in our room in Super 8 at uh, Red Inks, California. And uh, getting ready to go on another three hours to Medford, but we're gonna, of course, make a few stops along the way. Seems like a really nice day today for a drive. So after we eat our continental breakfast, we'll go off to the Turtle Bay area. We woke up bright and early to visit the Turtle Bay Exploration Park. The Turtle Bay Exploration Park is a 300 acre place situated along the Sacramento River. It features a sundial bridge, museum, forestry and wildlife center, arboretum, and botanical garden. Afterwards, it was time to check out the Mount Shasta City Park. Mount Shasta sits about 3,600 feet above sea level and it's 9 miles southwest from the summit of Namasake Volcano. The city park is headquarters to the Recreation and Parks Department and they also have the famous headwaters of the Upper Sacramento River. Park facilities include picnic areas, playgrounds, and public buildings which are available for rent throughout the year. Established in 1957, the College of Siskiyous is one of the 116 publicly funded California community colleges. The 250-acre campus is centered in the historic lumber town of Weeds, named after its founder, Abner Weeds. The beautiful campus has their very own nature trail named the Bear Trail and is a 2.1 moderately trafficked loop trail. The forest around the trail is a mix of conifer dominated by Ponderosa pine. The land is used by the community for both research and recreation. Our final stop before reaching our campground was Lithia Park in the city of Ashland, Oregon. Called the crown jewel of Ashland, Lithia is a 100-acre vista of emerald lawns. In 2014, Lithia Park was designated as one of the top great American spaces by the American Planning Association. They have a Japanese garden, two duck ponds, a formal rose garden, and various recreational facilities. We're finally in Oregon and Ashland, and this is Lithia Park. Such a beautiful park, and the weather is nice. Beautiful flowers. flowers growing out here. It has to be about low 70s, 60s out here. It's such a beautiful place. We're only gonna stop through for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Wait. All right, the reason why we came, throw away our trash. Okay, let's go. But there are so many beautiful flowers out here. Purple flowers on this tree. And it's so green. Can't believe it. Huh? And Ashland. Alright, let's go on a short hike. We don't have much time. Because next stop after this is Medford. We're gonna go to the stream, but we can't stay here long. We really can't. finally made it to Medford. So smash that like button, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.